In this video, we'll look at how to extract pages from PDF documents that contain text patterns with the AutoSplit plugin for Adobe Acrobat. Search for text patterns to extract only the required pages from a large PDF document. This may contain multiple combined files such as invoices, receipts, or mailing labels. The sample PDF we'll use to demonstrate this contains multiple invoices with searchable text that always features in the same location. In this example, we'll extract the invoices that are addressed to specific states. We'll use a search expression that recognizes this text pattern, as all addresses in the invoices follow the same format. Also note that the blank pages within this document will not affect this method. To summarize, use this method to extract pages from large documents of combined files by searching for text that's always in the same location. Let's take a look at how to open this tool. Begin by selecting Plugins, then both Split Documents options in the upper menu. First, select the Use Manually Defined Page Ranges option. Now click Add Output Document. In this window, enter a search pattern within double quotes. Use this sort of expression to search for items like social security numbers, phone numbers, or account numbers that follow the same pattern. We'll extract the invoices addressed to specific states using this example. This first part is a boundary anchor, marking the start of the word. This prevents partial matches with other words also containing these state abbreviations as part of larger words. This section is used to identify matches with only these specific state abbreviations and is a logical OR operation that will match any of the three abbreviations. This section is used to indicate that at least one whitespace symbol, such as a new line, tab or space, occurs after the state abbreviation, with the plus sign representing one or more. This section matches with the five-digit zip codes that occur on the next line, and the additional boundary anchor prevents matching with longer codes. Press OK once this is done. All new document entries will be listed here. The default output file name is document1. Now click Edit Page Range. In this window, the previously entered expression can be edited here. Check the Use Regular Expressions option, and also check Search for Text Only Inside a Specified Area on the Page. Uncheck Match Whole Words Only if the search expression contains the boundary anchors. Click on Edit Area after selecting these options. In this window, Use the tools available to mark a page area where the required text is located. First use the zoom tool to enlarge a part of the page. Then use the selection tool to draw a rectangle over the required area. Click OK on these two windows to continue. Now we'll take a look at how to configure the output settings. Double click on the file name to rename it. Select the Use Custom File Name option and then edit the text. Click OK once done. The new file name is now displayed. Next, use the Browse button to specify an output folder. Then click OK to proceed. Click OK again to confirm the procedure. The results dialog lists all created files. Click on Open Output Folder to view these files. Now inspect these pages to check that the correct ones have been extracted. In this example, only the pages with specified abbreviations have been extracted. Visit evermap.com for further product resources.